Hi, I'm Kyle Rittenhouse, Outreach Director for Texas Gun Rights. A lot of people are upset that I said I'm going to be writing in Ron Paul for President of the United States. And that is true. I will be writing in Ron Paul. Unfortunately, Donald Trump had bad advisors making him bad on the Second Amendment, and that is my issue. If you cannot be completely uncompromisable on the Second Amendment, I will not vote for you, and I will write somebody else in. We need champions for the Second Amendment, or our rights will be eaten away and eroded each day. I support my decision, and I have no take-backs. Spoiler alert, there was indeed a take back. In fact, less than a day later, Kyle Rittenhouse took to Twitter to announce this. Over the past 12 hours, I've had a series of productive conversations with members of the Trump team, and I am confident he will be the strong ally gun owners need to defend our Second Amendment rights. My comments made last night were ill-informed and unproductive. I'm 100% behind Donald Trump and encourage every gun owner to join me in helping send him back to the White House. Now, this was shortly after he tweeted out, quote, no compromise means no compromise, except it apparently does because he folded. He folded real quick. And the reason why he folded is because he was bombarded with hate from the usual suspects, Trump supporters. And the onslaught of hate that he received was so much that no human could withstand it. So of course he folded. And look, I'm no fan of Kyle Rittenhouse, but with the way that they were acting, you'd think that he killed someone. Now, I wanna look at some of the reactions to news that he would be writing in Ron Paul because they were very unhinged. For example, notorious Trump supporter Cat Turd shared a screenshot of him blocking Rittenhouse writing, by forever. I can stomach a lot of things, but backstabbing millions who supported you at your lowest point, then turning on Trump right after he got shot can't stomach it won't put up with it forgotten forever so he's telling rittenhouse that shooting someone is bad interesting dom lecrae who shared literal cp on twitter adds this breaks my heart it really does dear kyle rittenhouse you have been selected to be exposed oh shit what happens next will be a warning for anyone is compromised by money during this pivotal time conservative podcast host chad prather says oh well kyle I regret to inform you that I will no longer be one of your guests on September 12th at the TXGR event. I reckon you can write in someone else. This was not the way, bud. Now, on top of that, MAGA influencer Joey Manorino writes, just unfollowed you. If not for MAGA, you would be rotting in a prison bending over for Bubba. That was the jury that actually got him out. Not MAGA, but anyways, he continues, MAGA raised unbelievable sums of money for you. Trump welcomed you into his home. This is how you thank him and the MAGA movement after all those years of support? Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. He later added, Kyle Shittenhouse can go eat a dick. (laughs) An online Trump called this added, wow, this is really disappointing after how much support he gave you. Voting Ron Paul is pretty much voting for Kamala. Very ignorant. Now, I want to pause right there because you're only seeing a small fraction of the hate that he actually received. It was overwhelming. Now, the problem is that he has since deleted the tweets where he said he wouldn't vote for Trump, and he also deleted the tweets where he doubled down and said that he wouldn't compromise. So since that's the case, it's really hard to find the replies to Kyle Rittenhouse unless they've been linked to in articles. That's how I sourced those replies that you saw. I found them in Mediaite and Rolling Stone. But just to be clear, it was overwhelmingly negative. Now, it wasn't just Kyle Rittenhouse taking heat because this endorsement also did another thing. It triggered a lot of infighting among prominent right-wingers. For example, Matt Walsh chimed in with the defense of Rittenhouse saying, quote, I supported Kyle Rittenhouse because he was an innocent kid who was unjustly prosecuted. I don't think he owes me anything, and I really don't care about his politics one way or another. Not sure what was gained by screaming at the guy until he supports Trump again. Now, Walsh later went on to say the -the over-the-top emotional response to Rittenhouse was embarrassing and made them all look feminine really interesting uh then cat turd responded to matt walsh saying another dumb clueless take by trump hating arrogant matt walsh seriously how can anyone stand this fraud pompous ass from hell and he was also presumably arguing with a bunch of matt walsh stands who came to his defense and said no he actually does support trump but you know cat turd questioned whether or not matt walsh supports trump enough 
So, you know, that's just one example of some infighting there. But we've seen a barrage of attacks uh, so far from Kyle Rittenhouse. We've seen infighting from the right, all because Rittenhouse just said, hey, guys, I'm probably just going to write in Ron, uh, Ron Paul. Uh, but there's also another element to this story that we're not talking about. The deranged, batshit insane conspiracy theories. So in a ridiculous viral tweet by a QAnon conspiracy theorist, they claim that Kyle Rittenhouse is actually one of the kids murdered at Sandy Hook. Couldn't get more stupid than this. Now, last but not least, there was the transvestigation of Kyle Rittenhouse, as journalist Matt Bender points out. This user claimed that Rittenhouse is a psyop and trans. These people are so fucking stupid, and I absolutely despise the fact that whenever conservatives are mad at you or mad at one of their own, they go to transvestigating somebody all of a sudden. It's just deeply idiotic. Like, this is the end result of widespread transphobia, where everybody is suspicious of not being the gender they identify as or whatever. It's bullshit, and it has to stop. But, I mean... We're dealing with some of the stupidest people in the country. Now, again, this entire shitstorm ensued all because one person said they weren't going to vote for Donald Trump. That's a net loss of one vote. And that's why they all collectively shit themselves. Now, this was a problem in particular for Kyle Rittenhouse because he would be nothing without these people. So even though it's just one vote, they weren't going to back down, right? Conservatives are his only fans, and if he loses them, his 15 seconds of fame is up. So that's why he caved almost immediately. The question now is, how was his flip-flop received by Trump supporters? And the answer actually is not bad for the most part, because, you know, if you are going to bend the knee and renounce what you previously said, they're fine with you. Just don't defy Daddy Trump, and if you stray away from the flock, they'll bring you back in, even if they have to break your legs now there were some liberals and lefties who were making fun of him caving to the mega mob but to really gauge where conservatives are i think that you've really got to look at the esteemed cat turd who had the biggest meltdown in response to rittenhouse saying that he was not going to vote for donald trump so he replied to kyle rittenhouse saying i was harder on you than anyone but i can't hold a grudge when a man apologizes just remember when it was political poison to take your side trump and maga was there for you during your lowest point so all is well with rittenhouse and uh, MAGA world now. But I've just got to say, this is really fucking weird. He didn't ask any of you to defend him. You chose to do that on your own volition because you liked that he killed people at a Black Lives Matter rally that he showed up to to intimidate protesters at. So he doesn't owe you anything. You chose to defend him. But, you know, since this is largely a cult, disloyalty is never accepted. But it can be forgiven if you bend the knee immediately. Now, to put all of this into perspective, this is the guy who has this massive cult of personality around him. Walk in and this woman starts talking about, uh, she talked about, we have, let's get rid of the elephant in the room. And she starts talking about racism and everything. I said, you didn't even say hello to me. And I'm doing them a favor by doing right. this. I'm doing this out of respect to the black community. And we're getting record numbers, as you know, in the black community. And she came across, you know, she's with ABC Fake News, which is one of the worst. ABC is one of the worst. Right. And she is horrible. That's the guy that you have to support. Otherwise, you're a traitor and they're going to transvestigate you. The guy who doesn't know that multiracial people exist. What a dumbass world we live in. Now, I've got to say, first and foremost, they're not beating the weird allegations, especially considering that Aiden Ross, who's the politically illiterate guy that was interviewing him, gifted him a cyber truck with his face on it, which is in and of itself extremely strange. But I want to add that it's not about policy or politics to these people. It's about loyalty to this 78 year old man child who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and doesn't give a shit about any of them. And this meltdown over one lost vote from a perceived traitor is just a microcosm of a broader issue. Politics with regard to Donald Trump in this era, it's not about policy anymore. It's about the spectacle and rhetoric. And I absolutely fucking hate that. We need to focus on policy and what can help working class Americans, not these dipshits like Donald Trump. Not a political demagogue. I hate that. So him losing is necessary for so many reasons, but knowing that it could be the end of the Trump era and all the cult bullshit that comes along with it, that is reason alone 
to vote against Donald Trump. So let's at least, as a country, try to be a little bit more serious for fuck's sake. So that way things like this don't happen. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Welcome come. to the come, come zone. zone. Ah. 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 